the load list. There are two types of job sites that we can roll into. Let me explain. You have a job site where you have space for days to bring material in, unload, and stage as you would please. Hey, just wanted to stop you and tell you thank you for watching. It really does support us when you watch. Take the extra step, like and subscribe this video and or follow us. It would really help us out. Carry on, enjoy the rest of the video. Check us out at workerefficiency.com for more videos just like this. See ya. Then there's the job site on Las Vegas Boulevard or a big city where there is no space for bringing in all the material you want and staging it up prior to erection. On these jobs where there is no room for staging steel, you need to have calculated, predetermined load lists that align with our sequencing schedule or erection schedule for that day. Who determines the load list? Typically, it is the field superintendent of the job or potentially the foreman of the job. The load list outlines what material will be brought in that day and installed. It's not just taking what's in the erection schedule and saying, okay, I need these 29 pieces brought in for today. If you recall from shipping in the fabrication process, steel that is last on the truck is the first off. And on a job site where there is absolutely no space for staging steel and we will be rigging, lifting, and installing straight from the truck, we would need to be more organized than just saying I need these 29 assemblies for today. What if they loaded the truck with five girder beams of the 29 assemblies to be installed for that day and we have no columns up? How are we supposed to work with that? With an organized load list that is properly sequenced according to our erection schedule, we have steel brought in. In the case for our office building, we would start with the columns that need to be loaded in, rigged, then installed. We then have our girder beams brought in on the next load. Then the next load will have intermediate box and fill beams and so forth. Organization in the load list is really important. We don't want to waste precious time. Rented cranes that commonly cost in the range between $200 to $400 per hour and iron workers can sit around for hours for incorrectly sequenced and loaded steel that is brought in. Now, back to the job site that has tons of space for staging. Well, then you would typically stage steel based on the sequencing direction. For example, in the case for our office building and sequencing plan today, we will set four columns, 48 beams, and 10 bundles of deck within the vicinity of where they will be installed. Pretty lofty goals, but goals at that for setting steel. Maybe you can rig, lift, install right there and then from the truck. But if you have multiple trucks, then you might have the crane lifting and rigging while a forklift picks and stages steel relative to where it will be installed. The crane could always come back to pick steel that was staged after the sequence columns have been installed. You see how this is all very situational to the job? If there is no room for staging, then you need to predetermine low lists that align with the correct sequencing of the steel so it can be installed right there and then from the truck. Don't get us wrong, all loads should be predetermined to maximize efficiency. When you have space for staging, there's a little bit of wiggle room. While the concrete contractor is waiting for a concrete to cure, we the steel erectors might be able to bring in and stage the four columns and 15 beams prior to erection green light. We call this yarding. Yarding is when we can come in and stage steel prior to actually getting on site to erect the structure. When we are approved to come on the job site, we might need to move stage steel closer from the designated yard we stage steel in. But we already have everything we need there, which is great. You're probably understanding what we have been trying to get at. So low lists and staging is important depending on the job site scenario. What's your job site like? Do you have space? Do you not have space? You need to understand the context in which steel is required at a job. Make a plan and have a contingency plan to maximize your crew's efficiency. Thank you again for watching. We appreciate it. Like and subscribe, follow and share this video. It really does help us out. If you want to learn more, check out www.workerefficiency.com to find out more about our training courses and the app that is coming out soon and it will blow your mind.